In today's video, we're gonna be talking about our top five cichlid tank setups for a 40 gallon aquarium. It can be very tricky choosing cichlids that can fit in a medium to smaller size tank. And in today's video, we're gonna walk through some great options of stocking that 40 gallon tank. So let's dive right in. So first off, just wanted to say that this list is going to be our top five cichlid tank setups. There are plenty of different nano fish and community tank setups that could definitely go in a 40 gallon aquarium. But when it comes to choosing different cichlids, the options are definitely more limited and that's why this list is so important. And the other thing to mention before we get into the list is that I'm mainly talking about 40 gallon breeders, which has a very good footprint when it comes to keeping cichlids because it has 36 inches long, 18 inches deep, and 16 inches tall. So that extra length and width definitely helps when keeping different cichlids because it provides a better footprint for most cichlids and how they typically behave. So coming in at number five on the list is Mbuna cichlids from Lake Malawi. And this one can be a bit tricky because there are some Mbuna that I wouldn't recommend in a 40 gallon breeder. If you're gonna have a very big overstock community aquarium of Mbuna, that probably won't work in a 40 gallon you probably need a 55 or 75 or larger, but in a 40 gallon, there are some specific Mbuna that I think would work. In that 40 gallon tank, I would recommend some of the Mbuna that stay just a bit smaller, like your yellow labs or even your rusty cichlids. Both of those stay a little smaller and a little less aggressive. They're less territorial than some of your other Mbuna, so they can do better in that 40 gallon tank that's slightly smaller than the recommended tank size. The other Mbuna option would be going just with a species specific tank like your Solosi, which has the uh, blue males and the yellowish orange females making for a great community of that species. And along a similar lines with some of your other Mbuna is you could try to get a breeding group of maybe one or two males and five or six females. And that's a unique way of keeping your Mbuna without running into too much aggression or stalking issues. But like I said, when going with Mbuna, you have to be very careful with the species that you select for your tank. I would really only recommend a handful like your Yellow Labs, Rusty Cichlids, or even Solosi. But most of your common Mbuna, I probably wouldn't recommend in a 40 gallon tank. And I'd recommend a bigger tank setup in that regard. But overall, it can be a very simple tank setup that is also very rewarding with some really great color and activity in the tank. And that's why it's coming in at number five on the list. So coming in at number four on the list is one of the more unique options, and that is the Gymno Geophagus. So some of your popular Geophagus species, like your Tapos, your Sphenai, your Altifrons, some of those get pretty big once they reach their full maturity, and it can be a challenge to keep them in a 40 gallon tank. However, a very closely related group of fish, the Gymno Geophagus, can do better in a 40 gallon tank because most of those species stay smaller. I currently have the Gymno Geophagus Terra Purpura. They only get about four to five inches in max length. So they can definitely stay in a 40 gallon breeder their whole life. Some of the other Gymno Geophagus species like the Rhabdotus or the Gymno Genies, they can definitely work in a 40 gallon breeder as well. You could either do one or two or maybe even a group of five to seven, depending on the other tank mates that you go with. Also with this group of fish, it's a pretty unique setup because most of them don't require tropical temperatures so you can get away without a heater in most of these setups. My temperature for these Gymno Geophagus fluctuates anywhere from 65 degrees to 73 degrees depending on how cold it is during a given season. And the rest of the tank is pretty easy to set up. I would just recommend sand because these Geophagus species will constantly be sifting through that substrate looking for uneaten food. And then to top it off maybe with some driftwood, rocks, and live plants and you have a really cool tank set up and just something that's a bit different than you normally see. You can find some of these Gymno Geophagus on some online retailers, which we did a full video on and I'll leave that in the upper right hand corner. Coming in at number three is just to keep one or two pet cichlids in a 40 gallon tank. The reason why they're more of a pet fish and kept solo is just because the 40 gallon breeder isn't big enough when keeping some of those mid-sized cichlids, especially some that are more aggressive like your convicts, your fire mouse, your jack dempseys, a lot of those actually require bigger tanks if you're gonna keep them with different tank mates. But when it comes to a 40 gallon breeder, I think you could definitely keep a convict or two in a 40 long term. If you do have a male and female convict, they will likely breed very often. So just keep that in mind if you're going that route. Another really cool fish would be the fire mouth. You could keep one or two in that tank setup and they could kind of be that centerpiece with some great red color on its mouth and body and gray and blues in its fins. The Jack Dempsey is a tough one because long term it probably requires a 55 gallon or larger, but you could probably get away with a 40 gallon tank as long as you're staying up on your water changes and your maintenance. 
Something like your Oscar would be a good pet fish for something like a 75 gallon, but it definitely gets too big for a 40 gallon breeder. And then I would say something similar with the flower horn, because those are usually really good solo fish, and you could probably keep them solo in a 40 gallon breeder, but I would recommend something slightly bigger. So in summary, I would say something like the convict, the fire mouth, the rainbow, the electric blue Acara would probably work, and possibly the Jack Dempsey if they're being kept so low. Okay, so coming in at number two on the list is a Lake Tanganyikan cichlid tank setup. This is high on the list because there are many different combinations that could work in a 40 gallon breeder. The first option is just to go with shell dwellers for the entire tank. My 33 gallon tank has shell dwellers and I started with eight of them. They breed so readily in their shells that eventually you'll have a very big community that's thriving with tons of babies and different generations generations in your tank. In a 40 gallon breeder, they have plenty of space to be breeding and multiplying. It can make for a really cool setup. But then it could get interesting if you wanted to add a few other cichlids to that tank. You could have a small group of shell dwellers on one side of the tank. Then you could go with some of the more rock dwelling fish like the Juliodochromis species, and they could be hanging out more on the rock work and bringing a different type of fish and type of behavior to that tank to go alongside the shellies. The other Lake Tanganyika fish that could possibly go in a 40 gallon breeder is the Calvis. So you go with the Calvis, a couple Juliodochromis, and a small group of shell dwellers to have a wide variety of Tanganyika fish. But just know if you go this route, you likely won't have as much success breeding the shellies as some of the babies might get eaten or picked off. So if you wanna go with a full breeding colony, I would recommend the shell dwellers by themselves, but they can definitely hold their own and breed some in a tank set up with the Calvis and Juliodochromis. Another species that can be mixed in with this group is a Leo Lupi. It's another very cool, colorful fish that could work well in this mix of cichlids. So I guess this one's more of a two-parter where you could go with all shell dwellers in a 40 gallon breeder, or you could go with a smaller group of shellies with some Juliodochromis, Leo Lupi, Calvis mixed in there, but maybe only go with a couple of each of those so that you're not overcrowding the tank. So coming in at number one on the list is more of a planted community tank. It can be a challenge to keep plants with some cichlids and to keep cichlids in smaller tanks like a 40 gallon breeder. However, there are some that would work in this situation. A couple that I really like are the Epistogramma and the Rams. I think you could go with a small group of either of those fish, and I think you could even add in some other fish to go along with them, maybe your smaller tetras or barbs that could provide a schooling behavior to the tank, along with some of these smaller cichlids, and then maybe you could even add in something that scours the bottom of the tank, like the Corydora, or some of your bristlenose plecos. All of these would do pretty well with live plants and enjoy that extra cover that that decor gives them, one cool option would be to have a pair of epistogramma to go along with maybe some neon tetras and some corydoras. You would have a lot of cool dynamics going on in that tank along with some live plants that could really bring it all to life. You could do a similar thing with some of your ram species. The Bolivian ram is really easy to keep and one that I would recommend in a 40 gallon breeder. So I think your epistogramma and your rams make for a really good option in this tank setup. One of your more rare species that could potentially work as well is the Nananakara Aruketa or the zebra cichlid. It's a very cool fish that I would like to keep soon and I think I would set it up in a 40 gallon breeder with different live plants. Another peaceful, smaller South American cichlid would be the Curviceps, which could go in your planted community tank and make for a really good option with live plants. And then lastly, in a 40 gallon breeder, you could probably get away with some of your smaller angelfish species. They do get pretty tall as they become adults, so I would recommend a 55 or larger for most angelfish, but it could probably be done in a 40 gallon tank as well. Okay, so that is our top five list of cichlids and tank mates that could go along together in a 40 gallon breeder setup. If you'd like to see a similar video we did on a 75 gallon or a 125 gallon tank, check these two videos here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.